Intercepts me in my expedition. Oh, she that might have intercepted thee by strangling thee in her accursed womb from all the slaughters wrecked that thou hast done. Tell me, thou villain, where are thy children? Thou toad, where is thy brother Clarence? Where is gentle Rivers? Where is kind Hastings? Art thou my son? Aye, I thank God, my father, and yourself. Oh, let me speak. Then do, good mother, and be brief, for I am in haste. Thou camest on earth to make the earth my hell. A grievous burden was thy birth to me. Tetchy and wayward was thy infancy. Thy school days frightful, desperate, wild, and furious. What comfortable hour canst thou name that ever graced me with thy comfort? If I be so disgracious in thine eye. Give me a word, for I shall never speak to thee again. So. To war, take with thee my most grievous curse which in the heat of battle tire thee more than any complete armour that thou wearest. My prayers shall on Richmond's party fight. There the little souls of Edward's children whisper the spirits of thine enemy and promise them success and victory. Bloody thou art, and bloody will be thy end. Shame rules thy life, and shall thy death attend. Stay, madam. I must speak a word with you. I have no more sons of the royal blood for thee to slaughter. You have a daughter, Elizabeth. <laughs> Must she die for this? Oh, let her live! Her life is safest only in her birth. Oh, and only in that safety died her brothers. You speak as if that I had slain the princes. Oh, no doubt. The murderous knife was done and blunt and it was wetted on my stone-hard heart to revel in the entrails of my land. Madam, I intend more good to you and yours than ever you and yours by me were harmed. What good? The advancement of your children, gentle lady. Up to some scaffold, there to lose their heads. Tell me, what state, what dignity, what honour can thou demise on any child of mine? Even all I have, I, and myself and all, will I with all endow a child of thine. Oh, be brave, lest that the process of thy kindness last longer telling than thy kindness dates. Then know that from my soul I love thy daughter and do intend to make her Queen of England. What, thou? Even so, what think you of it? Well, how canst thou woo her? For well, that I would learn of you. And wilt thou learn of me? Madam, with all my heart. <coughs> then sent to her by the man who slew her brothers a pair of bleeding hearts. Then will she weep. Oh, and send her a letter of thy noble deeds. Tell her thou mayst away her uncle Clarence <laughs> and her uncle Rivers. Oh, aye, and for her sake, mates, quick conveyance with a good on time. You mock me, madam. This is not the way to win your daughter. There is no other way, unless thou canst put on some other shape and not be Richard that have done all this. Tell her that I did all this for love of her. <laughs> oh, she cannot choose but hate thee. Look! What is done cannot be now amended. Men shall deal inadvisedly sometimes. <laughs> Which, 
after hours gives leisure to repent. <laughs> if I detect the kingdom from my sons to make amends, I give it to thy daughter. Once more, you shall be mother to a king. <clears throat> we have many goodly days to see. The liquid drops of tears that thou hast shed shall come again, transformed to orient pearl. Go there, my mother. To thy daughter go. Make bold her bashful years with your experience. And when this arm of mine hath chastised the petty rebel Richmond and dull-brained Buckingham, bound with triumphant garlands will I come and lead thy daughter to a conqueror's bed. <sighs> What were I best to say? Her father's brother would be her lord. Or shall I say her uncle, or he that slew her brothers and her uncles? Under what title shall I woo for thee? Say she shall be a high and mighty queen. To wail the title as her mother does. Say I will love her everlastingly. How long, fairly, shall her sweet life last? As long as heaven and nature lengthen. As long as hell and Richard likes of it. Oh, your reasons are too shallow and too quick. Oh, no. My reasons are too deep and dead. Too deep and dead. Poor infants in their grave. Oh, hark not on that string, madam, that is past. <laughs> Harp on it still shall I, till heart strings break. Now by my crown, now I by nothing, for this is no oath. I know Richmond aims to wed Elizabeth. In her consists my happiness and thine. Without her follows to myself and thee, herself, this land, and many a Christian soul, death, <coughs> desolation, ruin and decay. It cannot be avoided but by this. It will not be avoided but by this. Therefore, dear mother, be the attorney of my love to her. Plead what I will be, not what I have been. <laughs> Shall I be tempted by the devil thus? I, if the devil tempt you to do good. <laughs> Thou didst kill my children! And in thy daughter's <laughs> womb I bury them! Where in that nest of spicery they will breathe. Oh, oh, sh sh shall, I, shall I go win my daughter to thy will? And be a happy mother by the deed. <laughs> Shortly you shall understand from me her mind. Bear her my true love's kiss. And so, farewell. 